It's time for Friday Night Lights, sponsored by McDonald's of Hampton Roads and Northeast North Carolina, Casey Auto Group, and Rose and Wample Realty. Now this is more like it, a crisp fall evening. Halloween just around the corner. Scary for some teams hoping to make the playoffs, while others position themselves for higher seeds. High school football the way it should be played and action the way it should be covered only on Friday Night Flights. Hi everybody, I'm Bruce Rader. You know, with just two games left in the regular season, every win is crucial, every loss devastating. Tonight, the surprise team of the season, Deep Creek, with a big class 4A game against Kings Fork. Two one-loss teams, Deep Creek came into the game, the top seed in its region with Lafayette, Springfield, Kings Fork, and Lake Taylor right behind the Hornets. Nathan Epstein was in Chesapeake tonight. Nathan, what happened? Let's go. Y'all got to strike y'all helmet, and we got to tighten up. Bruce, we got two 7-1 and one teams, Kings Fork and White, taking on a resurgent Deep Creek team led by head coach Andre Twine. Great game heading into the fourth. We're tied at seven until Damian Everett breaks loose. One of the top backs in Hampton Roads. Hornets take a 14-7 lead. But the home crowd didn't have enough time to celebrate. Next drive for Kings Fork on third down and 15. Justin German lets it fly, and Bobby Vaughn, touchdown Bulldogs, were all knotted at 14. Who doesn't love some free football? Overtime in Chesapeake, Deep Creek on offense first. LaShawn Jones, the quarterback, looking to the end zone on third down, picked off by Chris Sheeran. Bulldogs only need a field goal for the win, but they get more from the one. It's German, fakes the handoff, keeps it himself for the game winner. Kings Fork wins it in overtime. For us to come in here on their senior night with the run they've had this year, with the way we the way we played, at the end of the day, that speaks to these kids, man. This wins feel great, it's amazing. For us to come out here and, and win on their senior night against a good team, that, that, that should tell people a lot about this uh, about us. In Chesapeake, Nathan Epstein for Friday Night Flights. Bruce, back to you. Hey, man, they're flipping out in Virginia Beach. <laughs> unbeaten Lansdowne, the top-ranked team in 6A on the road. Against 5-3 and three, Tallwood, Brent Stokes to Lugman Haskett. A beauty. He takes it down the sidelines for the score. Tallwood does get on the board here. Antoine Kane in for the touchdown. But Lansdowne led 27-7. Onto the fourth quarter. Game well in hand for Lansdowne, but they are not finished scoring. Lugman Haskett is going to grind off this 37 yard touchdown run as Lansdowne goes on to win 35 to 7. Oscar Smith is a second rated team at 6A, and the Tigers looking for their 99th consecutive Southeastern District win, taking on Western Branch. The Tigers score first. D'Angelo White punches it in for the touchdown. And then quarterback Dominic Brooks with the touchdown pass. The Tigers roll to a 42 to nothing win over Western Branch. 99 wins in a row in district play. They play for number 100 next week. And joining us tonight on Friday Night Flights, Wavy's weekend morning anchor, Madalena Belarius, a first time guest on Friday Night Flight. Yes, I am so excited to be here. Tonight was actually my first time really seeing high school football here in Hampton Roads, and it was an amazing atmosphere in Chesapeake for Oscar Smith's 99th straight district win. The way the players just entered the field through that tiger cage was so impressive. I want everyone to take a look. It was an electrifying start to a historic game for the Oscar Smith Tigers. The 99 wins, see, right there. 99 wins on that thing. There you go. 99 straight district wins, a record that's been years in the making. This is just an extension of that foundation of excellence, and I'm proud of them. A decisive win over Western Branch leaves Oscar Smith with only one loss on the season. It's exciting because um, I never knew that they were going to make it this far, so they made it far. Ambush Nation not only setting records, but keeping the final prize in sight. I can't wait for them to go to the championship. They've been doing good this year. Family and friends filled the stands, many coming up with creative ways to show their support. This is the Bell Brigade right here. This is Weathered the Storm. 
The Bell Brigade was not only showing love for number 14, but also for the rest of the team, who they say is a family. Oscar Smith, the program is so much bigger than football. It is growing, grooming young men to become leaders on the field and off the field. Certainly a dominating night on the field for the young men in yellow and blue. It really was a great time out there. We want to say congrats to them on their new record. Now, next week, Oscar Smith will go for 100 district wins in a row. That's against Kings Fork. So now we're going to head back to the beach, though. That's where Ocean Lakes finished up playing its final regular season game of the season. So the Dolphins with a week off before the playoffs begin in two weeks. I wonder if that'll give them an advantage. No gimme tonight for Ocean Lakes. The Dolphins on the road against 5A. Princess Sam, the Cavaliers, coming into the game riding a four game winning streak, but the Ocean Lakes Dolphins would strike first. Xander Jedrick rumbling all the way down to the one. Two plays later, Jedrick breaks through the line for a lead that Ocean Lakes would never relinquish tonight. Jock Von Becton takes the snap, takes it into the end zone. Another Dolphin score. And now check out this nice run by Tyler Bram Browning as he breaks tackles and spins his way into the end zone. Ocean Lakes rolls to a 41-7 victory. Indian River trying to snap a two-game losing streak. The Braves taking a grass field team that has won three of his last four games. Indian River and White up 7 to nothing after the first drive, and they add to it on defense. Zach Green picked off by Isaiah Hyman. He's free and clear into the end zone for a pick six. Grassfield coach Martin Aspie trying to fire up his guys down 7 0. The second quarter, Green gives it to the senior Seth Dobbs, breaks free. We got a long touchdown run, but the night belonged to the Braves. Indian River wins 28 to 14. Indian River, another great season. So are the undefeated Phoebus Phantoms. Definitely a contender for a 3A state title tonight, taking all their neighbors from Ticket Tan. A rare special teams mistake for Phoebus. The snap goes over the head of the punter. Not much you can do after that. That sets up Kikitan's only score of the night, a short touchdown run by Lee Beeman. And from there on out, it was all phantoms. Daniel Wright runs up the gut, takes a few defenders with him, and then watch Daquan Fleming with a hard run that finds the end zone. Phoebus, 9-0, the top-ranked team in Class 3A, just ahead of Norcom. And the phantoms run away with this one tonight. 46 to 7. Other action at the beach. First Colonial edges green run 43 to 40. Bayside by 10 over Kellum. Cox's Tavon Robinson ran for five touchdowns and passed for another as the Falcons beat Salem 42 35. Lakeland two point winners over Hickory. Had a couple of shutouts tonight. Good defense. Nansman River over Great Bridge and Warwick over Denby. And when we come back, we're going to head to Bull Island of Country for the Bay Rivers District Game of the Week between Lafayette and Picosa. And we'll check in with action from the Eastern District, including a red hot Granby team taking on a powerhouse team from the Richmond area. We're the Oscar Smith Cheerleaders. Don't go away. Ruth and Maria Leto will be right back with more Friday Night Lights. The Oscar Smith High School Marching Band. They are the Friday Night Flights Band of the Week. You can check out their entire performance from tonight on wavy.com. Just click on sports. While you're there, browse around for previous bands of the week, past episodes of Friday Night Flights, top 10 plays of the week. That is all over on wavy.com. And now for the Bay Rivers District game of the night, a matchup between a pair of 7 and 1 teams, Lafayette against Pocosin. You know, Lafayette is known for its shutdown defense. The Rams haven't allowed more than 7 points in 7 straight games. Wow. Always a wild atmosphere in Pocosin. We're going to pick it up in the second quarter. The game is still scoreless until Lafayette running back Diamario Taylor finally puts some points up on the board with a short touchdown run as the Rams take a 7-0 lead. And then later in the second quarter, take a look at this. Rams quarterback Cesar Ward finds Jack Irwin wide open along the sideline, hits him in stride. Irwin does the rest all the way to the house. 
14-0. Irvin wasn't done, though. In the third, the Islanders go for a field goal to try and get some points, but Irvin uses his hops to block that kick and keep Pocosin off the board. In the fourth quarter, the Islanders try to get something going, but defensive end Armani Burton gets to quarterback Steven Parker, strips the ball. Christian Wilkerson scoops it up, runs it in for the score. Lafayette wins its 50th straight conference game and claims the Bay Rivers District title with a 21 to nothing win. In Norfolk, Lake Taylor trying to hold off a will hold on to a 4A playoff spot. Osteen Churchland, hot start for the Titans. Deion Smith breaks a tackle, and the Titans take a 35-7 lead. Coach Hank Sawyer, always known for his outstanding defense, and the D gets a big play here, and the offense scores a lot of points, or at least they did tonight. Jeffrey Foster finds his guy, Javon Harvey. Nice play. Lake Taylor wins its third game in a row and stays alive in the playoff race with a big 48-7 win. Granby 6-2 making the trip to the Richmond area to take on Thomas Dale. On the kickoff return, it's Granby's Shavia Williams who takes it all the way back for the touchdown. However, this would not be the Comets night. Thomas Dale wins it 48-17. Granby falls to 6-3, but still a great season for the Comets this year. And Portsmouth, the Wilson Presidents, in search of their first win of the season, taking on 3-5 and five at Norview. Wilson in blue caps off a long drive with this. Desmond Elliott, the track star who also plays quarterback, 36 yards to Amante Copeland. That's a Presidents touchdown, 6 to nothing. Wilson. Here comes Norview, Jabari Johnson going to unload it. Check out the nice catch here coming up by Loris Anderson. A first down pilots, but Wilson's defense would hold on that drive. How about this? Wilson wins it 12 to 6. It's the president's first win of the season, so huge congratulations to them. First win of the year, you gotta love it. Yeah. Smithfield puts up 62 points and its win over Grafton. York defeats New Kent. Nanseven Suffolk Academy, 30 point winners over Atlantic Shores. Windsor defeats Franklin 38 to 13. And we'll be right back. Portsmouth Christian beat Quantico tonight, 38 to 20. So, one more week left in the regular season, and the layoffs begin. Friday night flights really starts to heat up. Thanks for being with us tonight. Okay, so you've got to be back here to do the news at six o'clock tomorrow yeah. morning. What time do you come to work in the morning? I will be in at 4 a.m. So, uh, what five, four and a half hours from now? I'll you be need back. To go to bed now. Yeah. Yeah, but she thank you fun? for having me. This has been an awesome night. I want to thank all of my friends that I met out there at Oscar Smith. They were great. We had a blast. So. Have a great weekend, everybody. Good night.